Today, I'm going to be asking ChatGPT to make me a horror game inside of Unity. Now, obviously, it can't handle everything like 3D modeling and texturing, but it can give me a concept that you are seeing on your screen right now. It is giving me a concept for a maze type map where the player has to run and hide and find the way out. So, like anybody, I started this project inside of Blender. Yes, it's my very old version of Blender. I just like this version. My idea concept is I'm going to create this maze type map where the player is going to spawn into one room and there's going to be chests placed around the map. The player must find the correct chest where the key item is or whatever item I decide to change it to later on while obviously trying to run and hide from the monster. So I have finished modeling up the scene inside of Blender. I added all the textures to it and everything like that. Added some dirt to the ground to give it a little more environment. Added some chests around that are animatable so I can actually open and close them. And now it is time to hop into Unity where I've imported my scene and made sure all the textures are aligned properly. First thing I want to work on is going into the Unity Asset Store and grabbing some fire because I have torches on the walls and I want them to have some sort of character. I then added some post-processing to make the map even darker and more grittier to give it that horror type feel. I'm going to import a bean for our player obviously and then I went to ChatGPT and it was so kind to make me a player script. Now we have a working player that we can walk around, we can use the camera to look up and down, left, right. Next thing I wanted, because the scene is so dark, I modeled up a lantern. Gave it some texture and some bones, so that way it gives it that effect that each chain link is actually working as a chain link. I've imported an arm model that I have shown you in earlier tutorials to other series. I animated it so that way the player is actually holding it, and this is what it looks like inside the game. The only thing I didn't like about it is that the lantern and arm kind of looked like it was just pasted right there on the player. So what I did was I went to ChatGPT and asked it to make a swaying script. So now when we look up and down, the object actually sways with the camera. It gives it a little more character. I then whipped up this very simple little pistol model. And my idea is you have to find the pistol to kill the monster. And that's how you get the key. Yes, this animation's a little jank right now, but when you play the game, it is perfectly fine. I did the same procedure as I did with the lantern, adding in a sway to it. I feel like it just gives it a little more character rather than just being pasted there. I added a script for the gun, created by my good old friend ChatGPT. Now the gun is firing. I have this big monster looking type person that I modeled up years ago which I'll be using for this video because I'm trying to do this under 24 hours. So we go to Mixamo and this is where we're going to get all of our animations. Once I get all of them, I import them into Unity. I also added these two chainsaws to the enemy's hands to give him a little more fear factor into him. The chainsaws I didn't model, I just got them off of Sketchfab, but they work perfectly fine. They were under free licensing. Next up, I added a bunch of chests around the map. I believe there's 12 and only one of them holds the gun inside. Next, I asked Ch ChatGPT to make me some more scripts. I added some UI. The new scripts that made was a pickup lantern script and key and the chest that I can open them. After getting all the UI together, I added in a drop for the lantern and I made sure the player didn't start with the lantern. He had to find it and now he has a lantern he can use. As well as the chests, a lot of them are empty, only one of the 12 have a gun in it. And now we're almost to the final part where we need to create the enemy. So again, going back to ChatGPT, I ask it to make me an enemy that when I get too close it actually kills me. After setting everything up, I needed to bake the mesh so that way the enemy knew where it can navigate to. This is the animation I made, little jank for when the enemy actually catches you. And then I added in this red door model, thank god for Unity Asset Store. After that I just asked it to make sure the player has the key and then he can exit the game. Whipped up a quick main menu, 
and we were ready to put everything into the build options and actually build this game. Here's the game on the inside. After it's all been built, I'm only going to show off about 10-15 seconds to this because I do have a link in the description uh, to an itch.io page where you can actually download this game yourself and play it. It's a super sloppy game. I think this took me a total of 16 hours and half of that just went to mostly modeling all the objects and everything like that. And that's about it. Can ChatGPT make a horror game? Yes. Is it a AAA Game of the Year award game? Absolutely not. But if you're trying the prototype, I have found this tool very useful. Um, and that pretty much answers the age-old question, can ChatGPT make a horror game inside of Unity? 75% of it, which is mostly just the code, yes it can. Can it come up with an idea? Yes. And that's about it for this video, my friends. This was a little challenge that I tried out. I believe it took me like 15 or 16 hours to actually build this game, so if you guys could drop me a like, subscribe for new, click that notification bell, I would really appreciate a lot. If you guys like this chat GPT makes a game type video, leave some suggestions in the description down below and I'll see what else chat GPT can do. Until next time my friends, this is User1Productions, signing off for now. Peace.